Welcome to my Nux and Stripe tutorial. This course is going to cover authentication with GitHub OAuth alongside Sidebase's Nuxloth module. We're going to be using Stripe Checkout, Stripe Billing Portal, Stripe Webhooks, as well as Stripe Subscriptions. And then we're going to delve into how we can use these different pricing plans, so freelancers, startup, and enterprise, to modify the site in certain ways. So I'm going to just give you a quick rundown, run through of the website. Here I am. I just authenticated with GitHub. This is my GitHub avatar. We could do annual or monthly. We're just gonna go with monthly. Click buy now. And then we'll just do our Stripe uh, dummy data. So we'll just do, let's say that. And then subscribe. Now we should see this navigate to the success page. I'm actually going to re-navigate home. So now you can see we have the Manage Subscription button. If we look into our Stripe dashboard, we've just created a customer. That's me. And then if we actually look into our Prisma, we click into our account, and we're at the startup tier, which is the one we clicked. We're also going to be able to go and manage our subscription where we can differentiate if we want to update it to actually be like a, let's say, enterprise user. Um, and many other aspects of that. So let's just go back to our site. Here you can see uh, my, sorry, it's a little small, but the border is green. So that's the enterprise. And so that's just a cute little feature we're going to build out. So yeah, in this course, we're going to dig deep into Stripe's dashboard. We're not going to play around too much in the Stripe docs, um, as well as Prisma. So Prisma is my ORM of choice, and it's how we're going to be navigating our data. One thing you can do is I've written an extensive article, Stripe Integration in Nuxt, and here it has, I guess, 13, but really 12 chapters. So each chapter or section of this tutorial is going to be documented here on my blog. And it's going to represent the video that we're on. So here we're just on our introduction uh, and the next video installation and so on. So if you need like a textual representation that you prefer or want to use alongside this uh, video tutorial, this is the best place to go. And then another place you can check out is actually the repo alongside this. And same thing, each branch is a one-to-one -one representation of these videos. So we're in the intro branch, and you can go all the way down into the deploy branch. All right, and there you have it. So we're going to build this out step-by-step. Step. I hope you enjoy. Take care.